This is John. John is a curious boy who loves learning about the science around him. One day, while playing with his favourite toy sheet in the bathtub, he realised that despite it being rather big, it was still able to float. John wondered, hmm, how does any ship float on water? A ship is a large vessel used for transporting goods and people across water. Some of the biggest and heaviest ships ever built are more than 450 meters long and weigh almost 600,000 tons. That's two times longer than the Swiss Hotel at Raffles City and maybe about three times heavier. Hmm, how does such a heavy and large ship stay afloat? Let's take a look. Density measures the amount of matter or mass in an object as compared to its volume or size. That's why density is measured in grams per cubic centimeter. Comparing a stainless steel ball and a ping pong ball of the same size, the steel ball is almost 100 times denser than the ping pong ball. This is simply because the ping pong ball only has air inside its shell. Is the difference in density the reason why a ping pong ball floats, whereas the steel ball sinks? Not quite. The density of the medium, that is water, is important as well. The steel ball sinks because it is much denser than water. The ping pong ball floats because it is much less. Just like the ping pong ball, a ship is a shell with space inside. The ship's volume is usually divided into many compartments for safety reasons and for different uses such as cargo storage, passenger quarters, the engines, and others. This reduces the overall density of a steel hull ship to lesser than the density of water. Hence, the ship floats. Wow, a ship is an amazing work of engineering indeed. All based on a simple principle. Dense object floats on a denser medium. This year, we are commemorating World Maritime Day on the 24th of September to recognize the international maritime industry's contributions to world economic development.